what's up youtube welcome to this video so the topic today is how can we read write update and delete data inside a json file using c sharp so let us begin so we can use this json file like a database for very small application like uh, an application for a simple store or a small bakery that doesn't require heavy security or anything like that so for this example i'm using a console application but it will work for every type of application so first of all let's create a new folder data and we will add a javascript json file here so we will change this to so we have these two products in our json so let's test this out we will get the data first from the json so string get and we will first identify the path app domain dot current domain dot base directory so we will get the directory of our application and then add the now we will read everything that is inside it content equals to read all text and then we will create we need to create a class that corresponds to this data so we can create a new folder models and it will contain the class of product then we need another class product list the get me uh, get method is uh, actually uh, easy so we will just return the content static void main we will ju just call the get method inside a console dot write and we have to call the main method like this because it's dot net 8 and we have not declared a class so we have to call the main method by ourselves you can also put a read key over here change this to copy if newer so and the data is in capital form as it does not matter in the path but still so we have our json here so now we will create a post method and after getting the contents of the file we will initialize a product list products equals to json serializer dot deserialize the content so we are doing this because we need to process these products so the first step to convert it into a c sharp type then we can process the products so after this so we will calculate the max id so our id is higher than that so the max id equals to products dot let's call it product list dot products dot max and this will calculate the max id from the product list then we need a product here so this will be void and this will have a product here so we will update the id of the product let's call it new product so add the max id plus plus to the new product and then 
वी विल एड द न्यू प्रोडक्ट टू अवर प्रोडक्ट लिस्ट सो नाउ वी हैव द अपडेटेड प्रोडक्ट लिस्ट विद द लेटेस्ट प्रोडक्ट नाउ use file dot write all text uh, we have the path of the file we are reading its content and we are converting it to a c sharp type of object then we are calculating the max id within the product list then we are adding the new product to our product list and then we are again writing the updated product list to the file if i want to use the post method i have to create a new product we will just give the name and price and i will pass this product to the post method and we will see that this product will be added to our data.json let's put a message data added successfully i will go inside the bin folder debug here is where our application is made so i will open this data.json file and you can see that we have two products when i run this it says data added successfully and alt shift f you can see that there are three products now so this is how you add data to a json file right let me copy this update now instead of max id we will calculate the index of the a uh, product that needs to be updated in the product list inside the product find index where if these are products then this x represents one product so it will check every products id if it is equals to the id of this product so we will know that which index to update inside our product list we will get the index index of the product then the product list we will use the index of the product to update the uh, product on our list then the rest of the procedure will be the same update i need to update where id is 3 so let's update the name and price of the third id so it says update successfully so we can see that the name and the price is updated so now the simple delete method we will do the same thing we will find the index and this time we only need the product id so we will find the index using the product id and then use dot remove at so we are finding the id of the product to delete then we are removing the product and then rewriting the product list so we need don't need the product for this just pass let's say one so data deleted you can see that now we have the second and the third product so this is how you play with a json file using c sharp So this is all for the video thanks for watching and do subscribe to the channel see you next time